Alrighty, as you guys just saw, crazy how things go down, only in Mexico with the police being intimidated by criminals, and that kind of way openly in public and left being shamed, if you want to look at it that way. So, smash on that like button, please leave a comment down below, it helps out more than you guys can imagine, honestly, as far as if you guys like these videos and want them to succeed, please smash on the like button, leave a comment, share it. Subscribe. It all helps out immensely. Now, where to start? You know, one of the problems here in Culiacan is everybody knows somebody, and if not, their family members with somebody. Now, what I mean by that is people, when they get in problems, they always resort to pulling in armed groups as backup, especially when they're losing or they're intimidated instead of just throwing down and fighting with the person or whatever you want to do on a personal level. And the problem with that is, like I said, everyone has a cousin or a friend who's involved in organized crime. And this even complicates things further because it's the Shapitos hold Khan. Everybody who calls someone there is just uh, calling a family member or a friend and they're all members of the same group. So you can imagine how this could cause tensions and problems inside a uh, plaza or inside a mafia and that's exactly what happens now in the video you guys see that they get stopped and the police were basically telling them to get out stop this and that you guys know they actually had the balls to get out of their car if you guys didn't see flash their weapons at the police even though they didn't point them they still flashed them i think letting them know they're armed <laughs> and this is all after there's a fight at the nightclub where they were at and someone actually ended up getting shot after the fight. You know, if an initial fight broke out between lots of people, we call it a And after that, you know, the, somebody was shot. In the process of this, the state police received a bunch of calls that the aggressors were leaving in several cars at a high rate of speed, which they were able to stop them. And when they did, this is what happened in the video, you, what you guys saw. So it's actually nothing out of common here in Sinaloa and people get stopped, even if they're armed or anything like that, to just be able to walk away. At the end of the day, it all depends on who you know or who you're working for. That's pretty much, you know, all there is to it. As soon as the police hear that you're connected, and sometimes there's even a clave, like a code, that's given out. Now they change it every week, usually at least here. And if you know this code, when you get pulled over, this code's given to police officers and the family members, but it's also given to people in organized crime, of course it is. And depending on the police agency that stops you, like the municipal police will have a code that they're respecting. The state police will have one, the Marines, you guys get it. So depending on which agency, you get stopped by independent if you have a family member working there, you know people, or your people you work for are connected with them, you'll probably be able to get out of it, usually without even having to give a cent, you know? Uh, the money is usually involved here, like the constant and old school uh, image of corruption here in Mexico, the police taking money, is when you don't know people. Uh, the only exception to that rule is Sometimes, if the mafia people are friendly with the police officer, give them for the solace. You know, they'll throw them like a a couple hundred bucks, or if they're feeling really generous, of course, or you know, like ten, fifteen dollars, and they say it's for sola. But that's just the expression here. You know, para coca. It's like 
Here's a little change for you guys. You don't take a rag, something like that, bye, baby. Is what they're really saying. And you got to remember police officers at the end of the day, when you look at this video and what I'm telling you right now, only make, let's say, $150 a month, if that. Usually it's more close, a lot closer to 100 I guess it really depends on the state. States close to the border have higher pay for government officials than pretty much everyone. So, crazy world we live in. This is just a piece of reality I'm bringing you guys. You can see what's going on here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments here, me. If uh, where you live, would this would this be possible? Would it be possible for the police to pull someone over, draw down on them with their weapons, and then the criminals get out, flash their guns, and then just get back in the car and take off? Like, uh, eh, I'm too worried. Crazy world, indeed. Uh, one of a kind, you know. And here, cool, it kind of it's more than other places, I guess, in Mexico. So it's kind of a little bit more on the open here. So, like I said, please like, subscribe, notifications. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate that. And adios, amigos. Salve, hasta la próxima. Salve.